People of the internet, Retro Reconteur here. Welcome back to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. It is evening here in the Gryffindor common room. We did just lose to Slytherin in our last video. <laughs> I apologize, you guys. I apologize. Uh, I am not good at Quidditch. That was a tough match, though. Really tough match against Slytherin. So we're going to head down. Looks like Ron is waiting for us. And let's see what the evening Where holds were you, here. Ron? I've been to McGonagall's office, and then I had to go to see. I think we're getting close to the McGonagall end. McGonagall told me that Ginny's gone missing. <gasps> they can't find her anywhere. Here we go. But it gets worse. It's Hermione. She was attacked. She's been petrified. Okay. Huh? They found her just like nearly headless Nick outside moaning myrtles. Steph is aboard. McGonagall told me that they were doing everything they could to find Ginny. So I went to see Hermione. I found a piece of paper in her hand. A page torn from an old library book. That must have been what she was doing before she was attacked. Dude, the music's so loud. What was the page about? <laughs> it was all about basilisks. The giant snakes that live oh, for Oh, the basilisk. Years. Apparently, a basilisk can kill people by just staring at them. Anything else? Yeah. Spiders don't like them. They run away when a basilisk yeah, they, is near. The story, they really else. move stuff Hermione around. written the word pipes on the page. Pipes? Pipes. That's all. Just pipes. <laughs> just pipes. Ron, this is it. This is the answer. The monster in the Chamber of Secrets is a basilisk. A giant snake. That's why I've been hearing the voice and nobody else has heard Boom. it. Boom. There it's you go, Harry. I understand parcel tongue. Harry, do you think Ginny might be in the Chamber of Secrets along with that flipping big snake? Maybe. McGonagall said they searched Maybe. everywhere in the castle, but no one knows where the chamber is. We've got to find her. Okay. So what we need to know is how the basilisk's been getting round the place. A giant snake. Surely someone would have seen it. Pipes. Pipes, Ron. It's been using the plumbing. I've been hearing the voice inside the wall. They're getting there. The They're getting the there. The chamber of secrets. What if it's a bathroom? What if it's in Moaning Myrtle's bathroom? Dun, okay. dun, dun. So what do we do? The place is crawling with prefects looking for Ginny. I'll go first. Oh, lots you of prefects. You join me in Moaning Myrtle's on the second floor. Moaning Myrtle, second floor. Harry's like, I'll go first. Wait, what's the remember all out for? Rescue Ginny. Oh, this is it. This is it. So here we go, guys. I I didn't realize we were this close to the end game. I thought we were getting pretty close. Okay, so we're doing it right now. Rescue Ginny. Find the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets in the girls' bathroom on floor two. Okay, so we already know where that is. Uh, we, we did get all the notice board items last time. So I think we're ready to do this, man. Uh, let's see. Actually, before we go to end game, I want to take a look at... Oh, man. So, we're still missing... Oh, my goodness. We're still missing so many wizard cards. You know what? How many uh, beans do I have right now, though? Not very many, do I? Oh, my goodness. Uh, 48. I think it's enough to buy one if Fred and George are in their room tonight. Maybe they're not in there with, with the fact that Ginny has uh, been taken. You think they're still hanging out here? Oh, I should have just ran like I always do. Let's go this way. Flippity gibbet. Flippity gibbet. Okay, they are still here. And I only have one more wizard card to buy in here. Perfect. Albert Grunion, the inventor of the dung bomb. How much is that? Come on, that? 40, right? 30, 30, bucks 30 every even better. Beans. Perfect. I'll take it. We'll I'd take like the to lot. Buy that, please. Ah, Albert Grunion. Where would we be without his outstanding <laughs> contribution to explosive dung? All right, let's take a look. Number 97, Albert Grunion. Oh my goodness, dude. Late 1800s. Wow. So he's born in 1803, but lived to 1882. Inventor of the Dung Bomb. So there you go. If you were wondering, will Dung Bombs be in Hogwarts Legacy? They uh, will definitely have been invented. Oh, dude, that was actually prefix. really good that I went there person. because I just upgraded my health too by getting... Uh, I think it's what, 10 beans, or beans, 10 wizard cards, and then it upgrades. 
So that was a good call to do that before we go down into the chamber and try and rescue Jenny here. All right, so where is this dude? He's over there, and we're gone. We're out of here. To the chamber! Oh, this way. Trust me, I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going, guys. All right, so on floor two, but they said there's going to be more prefects out. So let's see if we actually see some as we're... Eh, nothing so far. Yeah, I didn't think they were, like, out here. It's probably once I actually get on to the second floor, right? Actually, no, wait, because the girls' bathroom's, like, right there, dude. Yeah, there's no prefix. There's no prefix around. What are you talking about, Ron? Oh, it's you, Harry Potter. So, and there's Ron. He, he just appears. Time? You ask how you died? Oh, it was dreadful. It happened right here. I'd hidden because Olive Hornby was teasing me about my glasses. I was crying when I heard someone come in. It was a boy, and he began speaking a different language. I went to tell him to go to use his own bathroom, and then I died. But how? <laughs> I just remember seeing these great how did big you die? eyes. Where exactly did you see the eyes? Over there, by the oh. Harry, say something! Something in parcel tongue! But, go on, Harry. Open sesame! Uh, open up! English. Come on, Ron, why can't you do it? You should be able to do it, Ron, just from hearing him one time, oh. right? I must be miles under the school. Deathly Hallows joke. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> no spoilers for any of you. Oh, goodness. All right, so I guess Ron doesn't come along with me. Weird, but okay. Should we save? I guess we should probably save, right? Okay, wow, this actually looks really cool down here. They did a good job with this. I can't remember what this fight is like at all, though. I do not remember what it's like at all. Jenny? Oh, there she, she is. Away. Tom? Tom Riddle? She's still alive, but only just. Oh, no. We've got to get her out of here. There's a basilisk. Oh, Harry. Come on, Tom. The basilisk won't come until it's called. Let me tell you about the real reason Jenny's like this. She's been writing in the diary. My she just blink for months. I think she I just blinked. stronger and stronger on a diet of her deepest fears until I had enough power to start pouring a little of my soul back into her. What do you mean? That's so she fascinating. Easily opened the chamber of secrets. The magic behind that? She daubed threatening messages on the walls and set the serpent of Slytherin on the mudbloods and nearly had this nick. No! I'm afraid so. Ginny told me all about you, Harry. So I decided to show you my famous capture of that great oaf Hagrid to gain your trust. You framed Hagrid! Yes. But you, Harry Potter, how is it that you managed to defeat the greatest wizard of all time? Why do you care? Haven't you realized yet? I am Lord Voldemort, the Aww, greatest they sorcerer couldn't do the in little... the world. Sorry to disappoint you and all that. Little but letters. The greatest floating. sorcerer in the world is Albus Dumbledore. Dumbledore's been driven out of Hogwarts by the mere memory of me. He's not as gone as you might think. To business, Fox. Harry. I'm going to teach you a little Come lesson. Come on, where are you at? Let's match the powers of Lord Voldemort, heir of Salazar Slytherin, against the famous Harry Potter. Oh, Kill dude, him. I, I hate snakes in games, man. I hate it. I, I hate snakes in video games. <gasps> Seriously, dude, the, the snake in Sekiro. Goodness, man. Dude, this thing actually looks good. Really freaking vicious. Oh my goodness. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. What do I do? What do I do? Okay, he's sword, sword, sword. Ah! Okay, it's, uh, looks like it's put on X. Did that hurt him? Oh, it did! Let's go, dude. Let's go. Drop the sword, though. Oh my gosh, that's way too close. Ah! He's huge! But anyway, what I was saying about the uh, the diary, 
I've been watching some videos like dedicated to, to explaining that. Like what would have happened, you know, if Voldemort or I, I should say Tom Riddle Diary Tom Riddle had been able to uh, like finish what he was trying to do with Ginny. It's such a unique horcrux, right? It's like would it have created a copy of him or would it have somehow merged with the original Voldemort? I don't know. It's it's pretty interesting though. Kill the boy. Do I have to wait for that little like shining or can I just do it like now? Oh, I guess not. Fox is still up there hanging out. Okay. Alright, let's see. Am I doing something wrong here? Or maybe you just have to, like, survive him a couple of times. Where's he at, dude? Where's he at? Oh! Jeez. Right in the middle again. <laughs> Alright, dodge it. Wait for it, wait for it. Come on. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, he went with two that time. Oh, three! How about now? Oh, there he goes. Okay, we heard him a little bit more right there. Oh, gosh, he's gonna come right for me, isn't he? No, okay, he's going that way. Can I jump up here? Gotta take the stairs. Alright, come on, Harry. Get the sword. Okay, not over there. Ginny is dying, Harry. I heard him. I heard him. Oh, he was over there. What is this? Oh, a cauldron cake. I probably should have saved it for if I got hit again. Man, you can tell they really tried to not make it too scary for kids. Because he doesn't even, like, does, does he even try to bite you? Like, I'm kind of tempted to... Oh, no. Oh, no, I got to get closer. There we go. Oh, it's not hitting him. I'm kind of tempted to get closer to him to see if he even tries to... To eat you, right? They were like, "What can, what kind of attack can we give the basilisk, basilisk that won't be too scary for kids?" There's nothing you can do. Maybe we could just have him like blast acid out of his mouth. Okay, that'll work. All right, come on. Show me your weak spot. Where is it? I love how you, you can't even cast like any spells at all. They just take away your your wand. There we go. That hurt him a little bit. Oh, why? He's knocking the sword out of my hands, though. Yeah, this this boss fight's not bad. Like, I, I feel like they could have handled it much better, obviously, but it's not terrible. I just wish, I, I mean, they kind of <laughs> made up some power for the sword, right? Instead of being able to uh, actually run up and hit the basilisk. Try to stab him. I don't know if he has another phase or anything, but I gotta say, it's so far it is much easier than the Voldemort fight from uh, the PC game of Sorcerer Stone. Much easier. Okay, here we go. Nice. I think one more hit might do it. Like, see, right now, it should let you run up and like, see to this. Okay, it does hurt you if you run into him. I was curious, like, do you even take damage at all? Yeah, I want those birdie beans. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think he, he would ever actually bite you, though. Any of you in the chat know for sure. Let me know in the comments. Will the snake even attempt? I don't want to find out. I am too afraid to find Oh, we put his eyes out? Or did Fox just get his eyes? Because he said you can still smell him. Oh yeah, he's not even he's not even looking at me anymore. Oh, he's so confused. Ooh, that was close though. Another. Yeah, let's see. Is this one gonna get him? Why is it not hitting him? There we go. Come on, run up there, Harry. Run up there and stab him. Oh, there it is, dude. There it is. Oh, Harry doesn't even grab it and stab the book. No! And there he goes. One Horcrux down, guys. You got to wait five more books <laughs> before we 
take care of the others. I guess, I guess, uh, Dumbledore kind of starts to deal with one of them in book six. I swear I didn't mean to. Riddle made me do it. Riddle made it's me. Right. Riddle's finished. Come on, Ginny. Let's get out of here. I guess Dumbledore, does he, he actually does destroy it in book six. Harry! Yeah, Mom! there they are. Hermione! How are you feeling? A lot better now, thanks. I'm really disappointed. With all that's happened, the Mandrake dropped. has cancelled this year's exams. I was really looking forward to doing all of that revision. <laughs> all exams see, Harry, are cancelled. made a complete recovery. Anyway, did you know that the House Cup is about to be awarded? Oh, House the Cup time, dude. In the great hall. Let's yeah. see if Slytherin I've winning the uh, Quidditch Cup really put them on to top for the House Cup. We managed to do it two years in a row. Well, when you're ready, Harry, we'll go in. I mean, why wouldn't I be here? Oh, here we go, dude. If you do not have enough points to secure the House Cup, there is still time. Explore and excel at all the challenges throughout Hogwarts, and you will be rewarded. Oh, so we can check the points right here. 300, 250, 200, 540. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Albus, what's up, dude? Can I talk to you? Loyalty is a virtue, Harry. Never forget that. I really like this model of Dumbledore. Like, that's just kind of exactly how I pictured him in, in my head, reading the books. Uh, being in the U.S. and reading the U.S. versions, like, Mary Grand Prey's artwork really did impact how I viewed the characters. And honestly, probably this, this game as well. But yeah, man, I don't really know. Let's, let's take a look here at what we have. Because we've got... You know what? I think I'm going to create a save here. And then maybe in a future video or something... We might come back and try to get all of the uh, wizard cards or something. But for now, let's go ahead and go on into the Great Hall. Since we just, I mean, absolutely dominated. Even losing the Quidditch Cup. Look at that, man. 540 to 300. Dumbledore hasn't even awarded his last minute points yet either. Or maybe he has, actually. We come to the end of another <laughs> See, look most at Snape up there. year at Hogwarts. And so, for their many achievements and outstanding commitment oh, to the school, yeah, we haven't gotten the it extra is with great yet. pleasure that I present the oh, House Cup he's just like, to Gryffindor. It's going to give all of it. Let's go ahead and give it straight to Gryffindor. Oh my goodness, they look so mad. Wait, that's it, really? We don't get the awkward scene with Hagrid, like in the movies? <laughs> I love Hagrid, dude. But man, that scene was like, wait, what? Oh, and Harry Mrs. told Weasley them everything. Is here. For nearly a quarter of an hour, he spoke into the rapt silence. He told them about hearing the disembodied voice. Yep, just tell them everything, Harry. How Hermione had finally realized that he was hearing a basilisk in the pipes. How he and Ron, following a hint from Hagrid, had followed the spiders into the forest. That Aragog had told them where the last victim Aragog. of the basilisk, 50 years before, had died. How he had guessed that Moaning Myrtle had been the victim, and that the entrance to the Basilisk's lair, Yo. the Chamber of Secrets, might be in her bathroom. But how did you all get out of there alive? Well, it had a lot to do with Dude, I just realized. friendship. Lockhart, courage. man. <laughs> Harry, you can't forget that. Lockhart. Yes, and it was like, courage too. Totally didn't Professor even Dumbledore include that bit at that all. 50 years ago, Lord Voldemort, as the 16-year-old Tom Riddle, had enchanted his diary. And that diary had enchanted Ginny. And I'm pretty sure this For it is was the Lucius point Malfoy who had planted that Tom Riddle's diary on the hapless Dumbledore Ginny really starts Weasley. to think... This and is as for Harry, price. well, once and he probably again, made more. He truly was the boy who lived. Oh, and that's it. That's it, man. There we go. What an awkward ending. What an awkward ending. Overall, though, like, I still adore this game, man. I adore this game. It's... By modern standards, even by old standards, it's not like a top tier game, you know? Like, if I was reviewing it, it's definitely not a 9. I don't even know if I'd say an 8. It's probably like in that 7, 6 range. Because I do think it's a quality game. But, um, 
yeah, I don't know if it was technology at the time or if they were just having a rush to meet the deadlines and whatnot. I'm sure they had to rush because of the movie and everything. But, yeah, it, it just feels like there was a lot still left on the table that they could have done and made better. And, and it's just, like, weird little things. Like, like just the whole Lockhart bit. They're like, oh, just cut that out. And I do think there had to be at least some technical limitations because if you notice, like, Ron and Harry, it's like they wouldn't let them run together. So whenever we went down to Merle's bathroom, Ron's Harry's like, I'll, I'll go first. And so then you go as Harry, and then all of a sudden, when the cutscene hits, Ron's right there behind you. But yeah, man, I really do enjoy the game. And uh, yeah, moving on to Prisoner of Azkaban next. I don't know, we might start playing something else as well to, for the Let's Plays on the channel. But definitely am going to be moving on to Prisoner of Azkaban. I think I'm also going to go with the GameCube version of that one. That one I do not have nearly as much of a memory of as I do uh, Chamber. For whatever reason, I don't know, Chamber was like the one that I played the most growing up. Uh, I definitely played Prisoner of Azkaban, but I, I don't think I played it nearly as much as I did. i seeing like dust on the edge of my hat here. Nearly as much as I did this one. So, yeah, and I also want to know, let's take a look here and see if anything happens after credits. Like, can I free roam Hogwarts now, or does it just take me back? Yeah, it takes you right back to the main menu. So, I guess we're going to have to try to go for those wizard cards at some point. But yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Let me know what you want to see next, other than Harry Potter. If there are other games you'd like to see me play... Of course, we're going to play all the Harry Potter games leading up to the release of Hogwarts Legacy, so you don't have to worry about that. We're definitely going to play those. Quidditch World Cup is on the list. I had a poll recently on the channel. I don't know if you guys saw it, but uh, on the little community tab, I had a poll of like, your favorite Harry Potter video game. And a lot of people said Quidditch World Cup. Man. If a Harry lot Potter of people did. So we're definitely going to have to have to play that and uh, have a couple videos up for that one on the channel. But yeah, man, I really enjoyed this Let's Play series. I hope you guys did as well. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up before you go. As always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.